Yeah, Mama. Yeah, so it's not gonna be too bad over there. Dang, you so short. Who, me? Yeah, you got. I got your head. Oh. I got, <laughs> hey. That's all good. So today's gonna be a pretty good day. Mm -hmm. We got uh. You don't. You just kind of put the lid on. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, you just kind of put the lid on there. Give you a little glimpse of Woo. party time from last night. We got wrecked. We got riggedy riggedy wrecked on some chocolate cake, son. I got hyper. There you go. Thank you. Okay, we got we got a little while longer before we gotta leave to go down to this other building we that we do on the Tuesdays. Bus stop. Then down to the Bowen bus stop. The lady that uh, is overseeing our case. Hey! She decided to leave. She came and she gone. Uh oh, somebody have trouble for some soda today. What? Oh, let the kid have some soda. That. That's his only one, though. I know. I brought him some water to have. I brought my travel glass and I hooked it up to my backpack, so now we got some water. Oh, okay. In case you get thirsty, because we ain't got no money. Um, we got money. I got money for a soda. Oh. So, yeah, today's not going to be too Let's hard of a day. This. Um, Make your little bowl. Cookies all set. I'll, I'll eat some I'll breakfast with y'all. Thanks for finally looking up for me. No, they ain't. Oh, they're looking up for you. They're probably going to wake me, Dad. Of course they do, son. This is all accustomed to learning, learning your boundaries and getting your your life together again. Cause you're on probation. Yeah. My son's on some probation. But it's embarrassing. You can't talk about what it is though. I'd punch you if you did. But uh. I'm just playing. It's it's partly his fault, partly not his fault. How many minutes? Because a minute. That's what I was about to say. Straight because. When you leave a kid unattended, there's no drink. That's supposed to sound like that? Yeah. When you leave a kid unattended, and you don't nurture the kid, and you don't, um, like, you don't pay attention to him, you know, <laughs> bad things happen, right? That's what he, that's what he's going through. I don't care what they say, okay? <sighs> I do know that, um, that's a weird coming from an ex-drug addict. Oh look, I'm 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 exposing myself. Exposed. I'm an ex-drug addict, but almost six years clean from a lot of you know bad hard drugs. Okay. And he got me back. But for some, you get in the frame. Or are you waiting on your food? I'm waiting on my food. Okay. But I don't but, know uh, why it's sizzling like that. I'm an ex-drug addict. Oh shit! I left the spoon in there. I'm an ex-drug addict. I've almost got five years clean. I, I got him back. In here by okay. No, you didn't. Did you leave a spoon in there? No. Take it out. Let me see. Okay, you scared me. <laughs> what if I did? I'd be very angry because we'd have no microwave. <laughs> so, I've got five years clean off of like meth and heroin and stuff. And you see what I have. I have a kid. He's got a two story house. I still got my wife. I got a two story house, townhouse. Um, still got weed though. I smoke weed. I'm not weed. Nothing wrong with weed. I won't advocate for it though. But um. Oh wow, well, it tastes weird. In my uh, but like I said, I, I I replaced I replaced drugs and alcohol with music, having fun, learning about myself. And what know. it means having fun? That doesn't mean drinking. No. You I took the time out. Too. I took the time out to learn about myself. Not like Charlie Chill and all these other half-assed motherfuckers. <laughs> they read from the book like this and they say, Hi, Today we're going to read about how to be a good man. And they open the book like this and they go, Oh, yep, we read that chapter. Fuck it. No, dude, I, I took the time out. You listening? I took the time out to get to know myself. I hold myself up in a house for like three years or so. 
That's not making bad. really no friends, just becoming my own friend. You know. That's bad. It's not bad. <clears throat> Hitler. Hitler's bad. <gasps> I'm gonna be zig no zig howling in this house. What? <laughs> But I became, I became my own best friend. <coughs> I learned how to love myself. I learned how to be a good man. I learned how to, I learned how to be a parent again too, thanks to my um my friends with kids. They taught me a lot, believe it or not, and I appreciate them. Now the point I'm trying to make here is don't if you're going through something. If you're going through something bad, even if it's addiction, remember to breathe. Whoa. You gotta remember how to breathe life back into yourself. Because you were not that person before, and if you learn the behavior, you can unlearn it. Which is what I'm trying to teach this one over this here, awesome. not in the camera view. But I'm trying to teach him that. Is that if you learn something bad, or you get into a custom of doing something bad, and you have that bad routine, you know, you can change. Because it's not about how hard life hits you. It's about how you get up after the hits. And you keep going forward. You have to have, you have, to have a, an obsession. You listening? Yeah. You have to have an obsession to be good. Oh, oh, shit. Sorry. Camera malfunction. Okay. So you have, to start having a, you have to start having an obsession to be good. And to have an obsession to change. And I'm not telling you to go to church. And I'm not telling you to like... Uh, do something drastic. I'm just telling you, if you if you see something in your life, you say, "Hey, I don't like that," you know about myself, and you and like you that. and you recognize it. Okay, and once you recognize that, then you you go through the proper steps to change that. Okay, you don't. It's like Buddhism, you know. <laughs> Buddhism. A lot of people that are Christian, they think that Buddhism is like Satanist and stuff. It's not Satanism. It's finding the problems in your life. And fixing them because you, we all suffer. Buddha was a real person. Yep, but Buddha wasn't a god. No, he was a person. And I do know that through Buddhism and some forms of Christianity, I've changed my life to what it is now, and I won't go back. Why? Because I was it was it was a bad place for me to be like I was. So, what do you think about guest mom calling out Charlie Chill like that? Brilliant. That's stupid. I love Isaac. Isaac's a good guy. Um. I think he should leave Charlie alone, though, and just live his own life. Yeah, that's what you know? I thought about. And but then, if I, and then but, he was dressing up in front of the camera, that's kind of fucked up, But, too. you can't cuss on Sorry. camera. That's not very nice. Sorry. So, but anyway, if you, uh... If I was, stop, if I was standing up for one of my friends like that, because him and Michael, from, oh, we were talking about kid behind the camera stuff here. Um, people who follow that, you already know what I'm talking about. But if I was, if I was sticking up for a friend like that, I would do the same thing. So I, I don't, I don't think But then he started stupid. taking it too far by dressing up as people. And well, people you know, some people have their ways, Thomas, that's all I'm saying. Some people just do what they do. I think and all he's trying to do, he's getting a, he's trying to get a rise out of people. So, enough drama. If you want to change, number one, remember to breathe. <coughs> remember, remember how to properly breathe. That way, if you breathe, just in and you know, blow it all the way out your mouth, and you just shut your eyes and you sit still. And you do this about for about five minutes. You do that, and what it does is, it opens the blood and it opens it clean opens your opens yourself up, cleans your blood, and gets you get some more oxygen to your brain, and you get out of that primitive state of mind. Okay. Two. Recognize your problems. Okay. Nobody's perfect. I'm far from it. Trust me. Okay. No one perfect. Jesus. And he probably ain't perfect. Recognize your problems. Okay? Recognize your problems. If you're, if you're like a teenager or in your early 20s, okay? 
Or even if you're an old man, you get in trouble a lot, go to jail, not while you're eating, put the cat down. Put the cat down. You're on video not listening, dude. Put on put the cat down, please. So, number two, recognize your problem. See, Thomas just had a problem. He picked the cat up at the table knowing he wasn't eating. You know, he's not supposed to do that while he's eating. And the cat doesn't need to be nowhere near the table. But did he listen? No. But he did have to be reminded. But I'm only going to remind him so many times. He has to do it for himself, which is what I'm getting into the right now. The by the table. You have, to, you have to recognize your problems on your own and fix them on your own. Because nobody can fix them but you. Okay? Oh. Nobody can fix them oh. but you. So. Oh. 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 The other wow. th uh, Let's see. What's see. Number three. Love yourself. And I'm not talking about love yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about... <laughs> I'm talking about look yourself in the mirror, tell yourself about five to ten things a day on what you like about yourself, okay? Become your best friend, date yourself, love yourself, do things for yourself, take that extra shower, man, get you a hot rag before, hot wet, a really hot wet rag before you shave, put that mother on your face, let it sit there about 10, 15 minutes, shave, you know, you. I promise you do that, you feel like a million dollars, you know? Uh, number four, do something nice for somebody that you normally wouldn't do. That's a hard one. But I've done it. I've done it more than once. And you just got to remember that you're not doing it for yourself. You're doing it for the other person. So, that's enough with the philosophies right now. Uh, I'm going to finish eating my breakfast. i got to get down to that boring bus stop. And I'll catch up with you in a little while. To the boring bus stop. As like Thomas likes to call it, the BB. I want, I want, I shot the BB gun. Oh, God. <laughs> That's old. Yeah, I know. So now we got to go to another fucking therapy appointment today, which ain't another bad. Another bus stop. No, we got to, yeah, we got to get off at a bus stop. But these therapy appointments are actually helping us. They're not bad at all. I was a little resistant to it at first, and then I got, I got, you know, into the swing of things. Mama got the hobo can't open it. <laughs> you already think about what I said about changing. As I hit my vape. And uh, y'all think about that for a minute, because I know a lot of people out there are going through some stuff, and it's not right, you know. So if you know anybody that's going through some problems or something like that, share this video to them. Couldn't hurt, you know what I'm saying? Couldn't hurt. And uh, if you can see that, here comes the bus. No. Gots, gots to go. I hear metal mic. Eventually, me and this dude, <laughs> me and Toothless, gonna get together and make a record. You know, we both toothless, so we got yeah, to. We are. So, <laughs> so it's good to run into good friends. Yeah, I'm getting a base as soon as I get my shit paid off at errands. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Got five months left. Dude, I still got errands to pay off. I got, I'm still paying off my guitar center credit card right now. Why not? Yeah, I'm, um, I got like 600 something guitars. dollars in the hole, but I'm, it's alright. Yeah. It's worth it. Yeah. Does Aaron sell guitars? No. Oh. No, I got a, um, Jackson County. I think I got until like September 2019 to finish my shit off of errands. And once that's off, I, ain't, I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna mess with them again. Yeah, I'm done. At least you got your credit up, that's what matters. That's what I'm, uh, right now, you know what it is? 666. Yeah. I'll show you. Lucky number. Table Rock <laughs> Road and Highway. My brother Mike. I was telling my son here, they had a, a Rottweiler dog. In the video. They had a Rottweiler barking in somebody's car just now. And uh, he, uh, I thought about messing with the glass and stuff, but I didn't because them dogs can break the glass. And uh, anyway, I remember one time he was like, Hey, Thomas, I don't want to be in the video. You don't want to be in the video? Okay, you do no. or don't? Later, I don't okay. want to be in it right now. I remember this one time I seen a chihuahua in a car. And I think we went the wrong way, dude. Well, no, we didn't. Just anyway, go that way. because you can't. I remember one time I seen a little Chihuahua on this lady's car, right? And uh, the dog was like going ape crap, barking and bouncing and barking. And I went over there, dude, and I started like banging on the window a little bit, like real soft, you know, and like putting my nose up to the glass and stuff. You know what that dog did, Thomas? That dog peed all over that lady's car. <laughs> it was funny. 
I feel bad for her now, but like, I laughed but so she hard put that, that day. Dog down. That dog got in trouble for pissing all over every. I'm talking about that dog. That dog like opened a fire hydrant in that truck in the car. It was a car. I say everything's a truck to me. But that I uh. A truck? Yes. Uh. That's pretty cool. Check that graphic out. I look itchy. Yeah. That was pretty cool if you saw that. Hope I got it in the frame. But uh. Okay, look, there's a bird fight. Yeah, I made that dog pee all over that lady's car. It's a bird fight. We made it to our destination. At the family therapy. So. We got a few minutes to kill. What did you learn about our little talk this morning? Me? Are you I paying attention? In talk. Yes, you are. I was. I'm talking about changing and stuff. What oh. did you learn? So you gotta change your clothes every time you smell bad. Now I'm just playing. Okay, so like, this one. This <laughs> yeah, man, sure. Okay, so like I guess change is like change everybody is can change, and change is good. Even changing your clothes is good because then you don't want to smell like bo. You want fresh drawers. I want fresh socks. Yeah. The reason so why I don't like the reason why I don't like talking in videos is because of the way my voice sounds. No, you sound just fine, man. Look, there might be a double upload tomorrow. There might be a double upload. Double upload? Live? No. Um, I got to go get an ultrasound done on my leg tomorrow because it's pretty haggard. Y'all remember what it looked like whenever I had my, uh, my infection. Um, I got to get an ultrasound done. I want to try to vlog that. So if I vlog that, I might put it up Wednesday, tomorrow, or I might put it up Thursday. I haven't made it on mine yet. But definitely that food review is coming tomorrow. And y'all are going to laugh. That food review because it was really good. I can't say on camera because it's a surprise. Remember, the, remember the stuff we ate the other day? No. I just shoved things in my mouth. <laughs> He's like a human pit. He's like this um, um, can of corn, <laughs> can of corn, green beans. <sighs> <laughs> so we got that. We got a double food review for y'all coming up tomorrow. Plus, hopefully my ultrasound, if I can vlog it, and that might go up to tomorrow or Thursday. I haven't made up my mind yet. So, um, maybe Thursday. I don't know. And uh, hopefully this weekend I can sit down and at least record that lesson here soon so I can put it up for y'all. Bubble! <laughs> so, there it is. Okay, so, we got done with our therapy appointment and made the journey all the way down to Vape Guys Vapors in Medford, Oregon. Bing! And, uh... <laughs> I've got uh, some stuff called Poltergeist I'm going to try. I don't know if I'm going to do it in this vlog or not. Probably not. Don't know yet, but I'm going to do a review of some Poltergeist. Uh, this stuff's pretty good. So, just making our way back down to uh, where we got to go. Huh. Oh, I don't want that, man. People think we're homeless now because we went by the Salvation Army and Got a bag of bread and some tuna fish and got me a book bag on. You'd be surprised at the looks you get in this town. Somebody wearing a book sack walking down the street. I mean I understand that's like the normal for homeless people, but at the same time, it is it's a, it's a damn catch-all, dude. Fuck. Excuse my language. But still, it's a catch-all. Look, I'm at Taco Bell right now. Nacho cheese fries, baby. These things are so yeah. good. Hold on. Oh my god. All These right. things are bomb. I love them. Talk They're about you right. did a good job. And big nuts. I had to get that out of my system. Excuse me. I'm trying to get across this traffic now so I don't get hit by no car. We're going to be on our way home here Let's soon. get hit by a car. Hell no. We, uh... Tuesday was a pretty good... We call it Adventure Day Tuesday. Whoa, look at that car. That was awesome. Did y'all see that? I hope, you, I hope I got it on camera. That's awesome. That was a boss car right there, boy. Yeah, we did. 
driving that shit all that's like that's all like that'd be time. like the final bosses of cars <laughs> Talking about the movie, right? Car movie. Yeah. It's kind of sad. So I did. That, I went um, out and I got me a. Uh, that they took um that, de that lightning McQueen's blade. Uh oh! Spoiler alert. Not playing. I got me some Poltergeist. PG. That extra VG. Now you got some PG. Yeah. Poltergeist. Got me some Poltergeist action going. So we're gonna sit up here at the boring ass bus stop. BBA. Uh, and uh, the BBS. Wait. The BB. The yeah, the BBS. B no, the we're boring ass B A. -B you can't cuss. Stop cussing, Thomas. Your own video. Sorry, it's B A B S. Whatever. Babs. We're going down to the Babs. <laughs> to get All right. Babs. Yep. Catch you in a minute. What's up, guys? Well, we're finally heading home. Rather a long day of adventure. I can't hear a word you're saying. I oh, know. They can hear me. So, we're heading back home after a long day of adventure. We're gonna wrap it up with this outro here soon. God, we finally got home. I got that little pretty thing behind me to look forward to. So, it kept me going all day. Turn around and say hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Bye, Harley. So, there goes the kitty cat. He's running off. Man, today was an adventure and a half, man. It was fun, though. It was boring. It was fun. It wasn't no boring. It would have been fun if we went to Guitar Center. We'll find time to go to Guitar Center. Don't worry. I'm yeah, one day, I, one day I'll vlog set. a Guitar Center for y'all. It'd be kind of cool, right? I'd like to try out the new drum set that they have. I'll let you kick around the drums, see what you can do. That'll be fun to vlog. Well, thanks for hanging out with us for a little while. Uh, like I said, we're making progress and headway in our stuff. Uh, everything looks good. Uh, had a little tender moment when I exposed a little bit of myself earlier, but that's all right because I ain't scared. So, when um, this morning at breakfast. Oh, so, sorry, my legs hurt. Thanks for stopping in. Stay brutal. Catch you on the next one. Wait for this rape review that's coming up. Y'all stay brutal.